Hey, how's it going? Today is Tuesday, 2nd of January, and we are taking a look at what kind of financial opportunities are available out there, or should be available for many people out there. And let's try to understand uh, a few of those. In this video, I thought I would uh, be taking a look at or sourcing perhaps finance and how work can be paid for, right? In the, if there even is an option there, <laughs> hopefully there is, and what the process can look like. There are so many ones, uh, the grants available, right? I'm taking a look at it currently. Uh, that's about uh, 65 different opportunities or documents that I need to review. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing, uh, <laughs> I'm covering everything in the detail as it might be required, but if anything, I uh, would like to bring more attention to that the opportunities are available out there. And within this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the first one that would be a return to research support uh, brewery, right? Let's try to understand this opportunity a little bit better. Uh, there's a lot of things I need to read, <laughs> as well as I have started a book, right? Uh, let, let's progress. You can apply for this brewery if you are a researcher looking for a return to academic research career. After a break of two or more years, you can uh, get funding of up to 2.5 thousand pounds for no more than six months to support you in developing a per, uh, per proposal suitable for submission to the SDFS fellowship scheme, right? So there might be a process in place. I'm, again, I'm reading it for the first time, right? Well, I'm looking to engage with these people who are researchers uh, and what would be standard, who is considered a researcher, right? <laughs> so I'm looking to understand if anything. So the person wants to do something, if I can find that person who wants to do something, I guess, or do some research work within a particular field, feel free to reach out to me. I'm covering with a number of those videos of that, where many of our tenders are. So if it's something that you yourself are interested in collaborating and working together, and you're looking to do something, I can perhaps uh, take part in helping you to do it. Let's begin by summary, so it uh, might not be that much uh, documents or paperwork to review, <laughs> hopefully. If you are a researcher looking to return to academic research career after breaking to two or more of years, something I mentioned, right? Fellowship scheme, you can apply for funding up to 2.5 uh, thousand pounds, and uh, there might be some programs, right? So they might give you a program to, and then in order to choose from what you would like to do, there might be a process in place or a standard. I don't know, I don't know yet. Right? Literature reviews, right? So that's potentially a bullet point there. Familiarization with equipment or techniques, there might a lot, be a lot of changes if the person haven't done something for over two or three years, right? So that was mentioned, and uh, attendance at the meetings and or seminars where he can improve his expertise for different fields, right? So that would be very important, in particular, then we'll take a look at overall UK strategy and how UK uh, can get themselves closer uh, in achieving those goals, right? Myself coming in from industry perspective, if anything, I can generate more attention to some of those opportunities, that would be great. That should benefit everyone involved. Uh, I don't know if this is related to it, but just before I do that, I just, uh, as I mentioned, I was on a conference call talking with a person even today, right? And we were talking about potentially how to solve some of those existing problems, or perhaps reducing need of having the even lorry drivers, right? I have mentioned in the past uh, two years, last year, and so the historical data and how many lorry drivers were needed within the UK and how government was looking to solve that problem and potentially outsourcing that if they can into people or uh, letting people perhaps live in the UK and drive lorries, right? So if myself would or anybody involved would like to solve that problem of need of having a person driving it and uh, perhaps software to do it. So perhaps there's a bruiser is there. So <laughs> that's why ignorance is com uh, coming into this, right? So let's take a look at eligibility. <laughs> It, it should be a problem, I don't know if it's been highlighted, right? Uh, to be eligible to apply, you must have PhD in the area of uh, yeah, that falls within the remit of the SDFC core science programs. Astronomy, solar and planetary science, then we're progressing to particle physics. Next one, practical astronomy, cosmology, nuclear physics, accelerator science. I don't know if I've been covered, that would be perhaps more of the 
software engineering I would expect, right? So I'm not entirely sure what kind of problems the perhaps this research is looking to solve, right? Myself coming into this, that's what other people I'm going to be struggling with when finding it <laughs> perhaps in the future, right? Objective. You can hold the brewery at any UK institution which has a recognized expertise in areas uh, funded by SDFC. So, so this is perhaps very narrow, right? Again, where yourself, if you are interested, if you some want to be considered a scientist, the standard was not uh, discovered by me, right? So it's not <laughs> the standard was implemented by this or similar institutions, right? But perhaps someone who holds PhD, right? So if you yourself, you hold that uh, or similar qualification, and you are interested in getting in any of the fields that was mentioned within perhaps uh, something I have covered recently or perhaps very similar ones. And since uh, some of those fields perhaps not even currently been worked at <laughs> and you're interested in working together, great. Reach out to me and uh, we will see a path forward how we can potentially work together, right? Uh, how to apply. You must uh, apply using online form you, and or update following uh, free documents. This one, the outline 500 word uh, timetable to act uh, with is your proposing, including breakdown of the financial support you are requesting, for example, travel or care costs. Progress from there. I'm not organizer, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I don't know, it seems, it, if anything, right, I'm, I'm trying to uh, increase interest in this particular opportunity as well as if I can help people. If it's uh, not necessarily covered within this opportunity, I can support and help people to do <laughs> if they're interested in doing similar things, right? But this opportunity is uh, CV, including your publication records and or statements up to 500 words, how to meet eligibility criteria using your CV template. There's a template that a letter or support from the host department indicated that they uh, will provide this suitable support if you are successful in your application. Here you go. That support, your letter or similar ones are you industry, right? So that would be myself coming in as the industry. And if you are struggling with of receiving a letter and or if you are interested in doing some work within particular industries, that's where industry would come in, right? So you have perhaps uh, uh, academia, you have industry, and perhaps the person, again, you know, you have PhD, right? Or I would say a person who is interested, right? Uh, it, it would require a little bit more time if receiving PhD, right? But overall, person with the white coat and glasses, I would consider a scientist, right? <laughs> But standards have been defined by depend depending on the facility who gonna be offering uh, finances, right? So th that institution defined the standard of uh, what qualifications person would need to have, or perhaps a uh, person who is working towards those qualifications. Even that, I would consider that, and we can set milestones in place. Perhaps not right now, within six months, or perhaps uh, twelve months. We can agree if it's something uh, yourself is seeing yourself doing in the future or tackling uh, the large problems, right? So free to reach out to me. Uh, yourself, if you're interested in learning more in the, or anything you are interested in solving large problems that most likely would require a lot of time and resources. And uh, those problems might make you stretch, right? Your understanding, your uh, beliefs are coming into different problems and what would they require inside and or perhaps working in a group and uh, how the process could look like and uh, where to begin. I have uh, made this tool so ye, that would be where many people can p potentially begin and or how to progress with that. That would be developing habits, right? So 90 days, uh, someone would recommend 70, so it would be about 90 so on the safe side, right? So, uh, uh, 90 days and every single day that would be 24 hour windows and how to stick with the program and do something every day ideally right for uh, 90 days to develop a habit you can find it QR code in the corner company stuff side below I guess the, where things are right now, they would ask you to write down an essay or 500 words essay, right? Perhaps in the future, they might consider having a quick video, right? And uh, they, by, according to the video, they would like to determine if a person uh, would be able to build a project and or present that project to a large groups of people and everything, but that would be too much perhaps of the requirement and how potentially the development process can look like, right? So for many people who 
uh, interested crowds, things are changing, things are moving so fast, right? Uh, not necessarily current technology are able to catch up with the uh, way how things might be in the future, right? Even those avatars that we might have on uh, some of the tech companies, right? You can have those moving perhaps, but it would be too much stress on a current technology, right? Unless we can develop existing technology to the next level where the uh, speed of internet would be a lot faster, but then we need to take a look at semiconductors and how we not potentially lose that much heat when using copper wires, right? So then I would need scientists, I guess that's where things are. <laughs> We're going full circle. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next one.